Hey, I'm Steve Saunders, and I've come here to the city of Oulu in northern Finland for their world-famous Air Guitar Championships. All right, that's not true. I've actually come here for something equally exciting, the launch of Nokia's new R&D center. Nokia of today is a combination of companies. There's a lot of um, brand equity and value from the mobile phone days, but it's not the mobile phone company. It's about a team, you know, radio and mobile infrastructure here. We're doing optical manufacturing in, uh, in the US, um, you know, fiber broadband. There's many folks doing many different things, cloud and software services, but it's about playing our positions and all aligning on the success. It's not a coincidence that Nokia is putting its facility here. Aula is the high-tech capital of northern Finland, with a history of driving the development of the newest mobile networking technologies. The first ever 2G mobile phone call was made here. It wasn't here. Right here. Hello. No, yeah, just now I'm in the sun. Yeah, just chilling out. So why are the Finns so good at telecom? I don't know. One of the reasons is geography. Finland is a big country with a teeny tiny population. And that's why a hundred years ago, some Finnish engineers started tinkering around with radio technology so that they could talk to each other and keep touch with the farmers. For the reindeer breeders of the tundra, the weather rarely makes a topic of conversation. Well, now Nokia is taking on a new and formidable challenge challenge, helping Europe bridge the gap between its AI ambitions and network infrastructure that isn't fit for purpose. The most critical challenge right now is how do you build a real digital infrastructure for the whole of the continent and how do you do it fast? It's doing that here at its new site, only a hundred miles south of the Arctic Circle, by developing denser radio access networks. 5G for industrial environments, 6G, and AI network automation. And as you can see, they've intentionally played down the appearance. They're trying to keep it quite anonymous. And that's because once you get inside, there's some really extraordinary technology in here. So this is really cool. This is uh, Nokia's EMC chain. They have equipment like this, this giant egg whisk, that's gonna put out one type of uh, radio signal. And then they've got this big bastard over here, which doubles as a, a harpoon in case you run into any whales. Um, and then they'll fire those uh, at their own products here uh, to see what the results are. So uh, this is the uh, robot overlord uh, demonstration, obviously. Uh, very impressive. These ones are just making cardboard boxes, but it does really make you think about the potential for automation and robotics in changing the way manufacturing uh, operates around the world. Beyond these doors here is this really extraordinary laboratory setup, which we're not allowed to show you. I can show you this large black box over here, which I thought was very exciting. Obviously some sort of quantum computer. Turns out it's actually uh, just a cupboard you're kind of blown away by the scale of the thing. And also they have all of these lines, this giant yellow box here. Uh, when they had Bring Your Cat to Work Day, all the cats were obviously sitting inside the yellow box. I'm sure that's uh, what that's actually for. But the goal isn't just to build faster or smarter networks. It's to deliver a technology solution that can transform economies, that can create jobs, that can improve life for everybody here in Europe. And it all starts here in Aulu.